the day number one. Electricity industry small scale renewable distributed generation amendment bill interrupted debate on first reading. Members, the last time we were discussing this bill, Melissa Lee was speaking. She has two minutes remaining to speak. Uh, I, some other honourable member should wish to call. I call Rhea Bond. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I rise on behalf of New Zealand First uh, to speak to the Electricity Industry Amendment Bill. Mr. Speaker, the energy sector, in New Zealand First opinion, is essentially broken. There is a great deal of detail that needs to be debated in this House. However, as time allows only a simple summary of these issues, it is to state the very real fact. Electricity prices have risen, in real terms, nearly 50% in this country. Originally, the energy sector was publicly owned and democratically accountable. The industry aims were motivated by this question. How do we best benefit the people of New Zealand? Now electricity is, is not viewed as an essential service. Instead, the market system would rule where the question of profit maximising uh, or even profiteering uh, became, the, became the motivator of the individual organisations. And today this debate is about a fundamental question. What is the future of energy here in New Zealand? Is it the private sector? Is the private sector not, in fact, worried about the future of their core business? Uh, are they worried? And if they were worried, are they supportive of empowering other businesses? Uh, Mr. S Mr Speaker, I'd like to quote from Gareth Hughes' letter exactly what the intent of this bill will do. This bill is a simple amendment of the Electricity Industry Act to empower the Electricity Authority to amend the Electricity Industry Code and to act as an independent umpire. Sir, the reality is New Zealand needs legislation like this. In fact, it is only a start. In New Zealand, we have plenty of sunshine hours, and on average per annum, we're looking at 2,000 hours. Uh, I also want to point out that New, Zealand, New Zealanders want a choice of whom and what they decide to spend their, their, their money with. And I acknowledge that in today's world, consumer needs are much more diverse and consumers want more options. Uh, in Rotorua, there is a marae uh, generating their own electricity through geothermal, hydro and solar panel energy sources. What they are struggling to do is find somebody to buy back their surplus when the time was right. When they did find a retailer, Excitedly, they signed up only to see their bucks drop month by month down. New Zealand First supports this bill because homeowners want to make environmentally and financially sound investments. This bill seeks to create fairness in the market. It seeks to address a real imbalance between the retailers and small independent generators. Sorry, sir, I'm just finding my piece of paper. I have so much to say on this that I actually got lost in my paperwork. So, in simple terms, sir, this bill seeks to amend the Electricity Act. If the Electricity Authority was independently empowered, then the three tasks this bill sets out to achieve are a fair and reasonable buyback rate, standard contracts, standard connection frameworks across all regions. Uh, I, find it current, I find it odd that currently the power retailer are the very people who sell this power to the consumers and also the very people who are buying back the surplus from those very consumers. If the Electricity Authority was independently empowered with these tasks, then this bill sets to achieve this, then as a country we would be supporting renewable energy use. Minister Brownlee voiced his concerns that this bill will encourage consumers to go off the grid. Now, sir, this bill, the intention of this bill, as it shows, seeks to set a fair and reasonable buyback price. Ms. Mr Brownlee also described the need for balance, but the retailers are drifting that balance in their favour as the big players look to protect the infrastructure. To ask the Electricity Authority to act as an arbitrator is reasonable. It examples, um, examples of this um, exist overseas, models that actually work. Uh, New Zealand First supports this bill to the Select Committee process so that New Zealanders can come along and let their voices be heard. Um, and that is what a good 
um, democratic process uh, uh, needs, Mr Speaker. New Zealand First supports this bill. I call Brett Hudson. Thank you, Mr Speaker. I 